My name is Emmanuel Parker, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My parents were Edward and Mary Parker. And my siblings were my sister, Willa May, and my brother, stepbrother, Willa, Billy. I had a wonderful childhood. I went to Penn School in, on Penn Heron Avenue, Lower Hill District. Graduated from Penn School in 1935. And I was an exceptionally child. At nine, I started my own little business in the junk business, collecting junk. And then the amazing thing about it, one year, I see the picture in the paper and I drew it, and I took it to school with me. And the teacher told me who drew it, and I told her. So she had at that moment told me that she wanted to see my mother and the problem with it was that she wanted me to start art classes at the museum in Oakland and my mother was you know was really in favor of it and I went to art class since I was nine until I was about 14 or 15 years old I went to high school, uh, Heron Hill Junior High School in the Hill District from 1939 to 1942. The only sport that I would take to play in was softball. One of the best softball players in Lawrence Field at that particular time, because all the older young men would pick me to be their left fielder for them because they knew that any ball that came in my direction, I hated. I should have got a medal for it, but just the idea that I was part of the neighborhood and could help. When, well, the reason that they had to hide the joined the army was the war just broke out with Japan. And one morning I went sitting in the house. I said, let me do. I went out looking for a job. And I was turned down at the Pennsylvania Railroad and a couple other jobs. So something popped up in my head. I know what I can do. I can join the Army. So the recruiting office was at Fulton Smithfield Street. Me and a friend of ours went in there. The officer in charge gave us a slip to take home to our mothers to get their consent. And at 8 o'clock that night, we was headed for Fort Reed, Maryland. I served five and a half years in the Army, and I don't regret it to this day. The first time that I met my wife was I was home on leave after three years in the Army, my first leave. That morning I got up to go to, to the neighborhood to see how it was because it was the first time I've been home in quite some time. And I went past her house and some way I accidentally bumped into Dorothy Evans. But we, I just said, excuse me and kept her walking. And then that evening, we were used to, friends of mine, R.J. Brown and his brother, we used to hang out in their house. So I was curious about everything else because that was the first time I've been home in three years. And lo and behold, she was at the place when I got there. And she was curious. She told me to her face she had it. She was nearly running, nearly went crazy trying to find somebody that knew individual she met and incidentally I just happened to come to the place she was that night and she asked a friend of hers who was that person there so 
Houston has a nugget partner. And me and your grandma hooked up that night, and she even came to the party with her boyfriend. And they, we never seen him no more after that day period. So some, for some reason, we, your grandma got together. And I guess in less than six months, me and your grandma was married. I came home on a leave from the Army, and I was stationed in Mr. Field. And your great, her mother told me she had went to New York to work in the Apple factory. The reason that she went there because we had some kind of an argument the last time I was home. And your, her great-grandma gave me the address of where she was working. She was working up in Binghamton, New York, in the Apple Company. That morning, that evening, early morning, I took the bus out at about 4 or 5 o'clock that morning. When I got to the factory where she worked at, it was about four or five miles down the road, but then I had to walk that distance. And then I went up there, and me and your grandma went to New York, and in a week's time, we both got married. The thing from that day on, from then on, we've been married about 63 years, 62 or 63 years. And nothing came between that marriage. Nothing but love and understanding. Your grandma was always just like I was. Always was positive. Even we raised the children in a positive way. No, no word was in our vocabulary with our children. We came to be nothing but positive. And we're glad we raised them that way because they seemed to have taken our message to heart. Well, at first, she was a school guard for the Allegheny uh, Pittsburgh School District. And later on, she came to be the first black deputy sheriff of Allegheny County. And she was a good appeal to the community like anybody else in a more positive way. Rest with five children. Marlena, Antoinette, Emmanuel Jr., Douglas, and Gerald Parker. We raise all of our children to be positive. No negativeness about anything we did or said interfered with that. All of my grandchildren and children, I praise them to this day. They have a positive atmosphere about them, and always have. And we're glad it happened that way. I couldn't have asked for no more than the five children we have to be blessed with the way they turned out to be. I'm glad, well even so, God gifted me with a talent. Anything I've seen, I can repeat it. And I took up I excelled in building, and I tried, and I taught all my boys to do the same thing. Even the girls know how to do work on their own, and I'm thankful for that. And thankful that we were blessed with five children, and if we had five more, we'd have been just as thankful too. But I think they have followed in my footsteps because all of them do know how to do things on their own. And my great grandchildren, they're showing it up in their what things they are doing nowadays. And of now, all my great granddaughters, I praise them, all of them, the way they're raising their children and the way that their grandma and grandma did. And I think they'll be a good advantage to the neighborhood, any neighborhood they live in. I think 
But your grandma put me in a different outlook on life. Just to think that she put me in a different bracket now. By having children, grandchildren, she put me in the likes of all the rest of them. Just to think that years from now, I'll be in there. They'll be calling me, who that person would ask, look at her picture and see me and say, who is that? She'll have so many greats, greats behind it that they'll be aged when they get through talking about their great, 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 great grandfather, Emmanuel Parker and Dorothea Parker.